This here is from Reddit from a site called Depth Delusion, and it's from 22 hours ago. I'm not exactly sure when this TikTok video is from, but the post here is pretty new. I haven't actually quite touched upon what I'm going to say. Now, some people have a lot of big issues in mind, world news, politically, and things like that. And sometimes they seem to conflate them with each other, and they think one has to do with the other. Because this person here will mention some things like BLM and then Johnny Depp and how there's somehow some kind of connection. So let's take a look here. I'm not going to read her voice because it's actually her video. I'm not sure how copyright stuff works between platforms, but it's only a minute. Me having a splendid day. Then I remember I joined straight men to hate on Amber. Okay, whatever that means. I guess she joined some straight men because those are the ones that criticize Amber. Well, I got something to say about that. I know a lot of women too, and they're not even particularly straight or not. Who knows? No, because let's really wake it right now. Good morning. Pretty funny, actually. That Amber Heard case along with a few other things, such as like, set in my brain that society can't be saved. We cannot save 100% of society. Well, in isolation, I agree. You probably can't. But I'm not sure what that has to do with anything about Johnny. Maybe we can save about 40% of you all. Because the way majority took Johnny Depp's side. So society can't be saved on the whole because of all these issues. I'm assuming she means racial issues, war decreasing population, whatever it happens to be, but then because of the way the Johnny Depp case was, this stuff can't be solved. Making a lot of sense here. When the court case wasn't even about whether he did it or not, which is actually true. The court case was about defamation, not the abuse. Of course, I talked about all angles and everything, but I always said over and over, probably dozens of times, if not hundreds, that this case is primarily about defamation. And with that in mind, Amber was definitely wrong. And then the abuse thing was a separate issue. It was about the defamation part of it. Like I said, we agree. That's true. He did it. He did it. He did it. She's waving her fist around there. She knows Johnny did it with all that non-existent evidence. There was never no question as to if he did it. And you all took that man's side. He had so much public support. As a woman, if you see a majority men agreeing on one issue, like I said, we can debate this. I personally have around 30,000 subscribers right now. And my analytics tell me there's about 65 to 70% women. So I must imagine on the other Johnny channels or the channels that covered Johnny, they probably have something similar. And then if Law and & Order, who got millions if not billions of views, check their analytics, I would bet money probably at least half are women if not more. So I would say based on that, my opinion from watching analytics for like four years, this is wrong. It's men and women. Absolutely. And probably very balanced, if not slightly more on the woman's side. You all have to automatically assume that is not in the interest of women. Mm hmm. Men are always going to protect themselves first. The apex is always going to protect the apex. No matter what is on what ism system, none of that. I have no idea what that means. Honestly, that's got nothing to do with anything. And of course, people chipped in. Such a good video. I still struggle with the fact so many women contributed to the global humiliation that Depp promised his victim. Well, yeah, they even admit it here. There was a lot of women. A lot of women hate other women. A lot. I can't quite speak for that. I could speak for my family, my wife, her sister. They don't hate women. They actually help a lot of women. I mean, literally, save lives and help women. Not going to say what they do, but you could probably guess. So anyway, that's how I see it. And this person says celebrity women don't deserve it even when there's genuine criticism over them. What? How could someone not deserve it if the criticism is genuine and correct? That makes no sense. 
True. People hate Angelina when Brad was the alcoholic causing the violence. F Brad. I disagree again. I covered this. I still do once in a while. Brad and Angelina, if you watch my videos, all I say is, once again, there's no evidence. They're on a jet plane, but I don't really take Brad's side. Like, I know she's lying, this and that. Simply saying, we just don't know. That doesn't mean I'm taking the man's side. That means we don't know. Wait a minute. What I take from this is that women are hardest on fellow women. But I think she kept mentioning men. I don't know. Maybe I'm messed up here. Someone please correct me, but I think I had it right. Anyway, that's about it. Like I said, not sure how old the video is, but the post is brand new. These people are still going, so I will still go too. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.